My first exposure to the idea of Passive House came through a New York Times article that was written in December of 2008. And the headline on the, um, on the article was, uh, No Furnace But Heat A Plenty. And that captured my attention. I thought, a house without a furnace, that doesn't sound possible. And the more I read about it, the more I understood that there was an idea out there that you actually could create a building without a conventional heating system. That to me is, is a fundamentally different way of thinking about a building. This is America, we like to build things big and uh, it's ridiculous the size of many new homes being built today. As architects, we grew up and were trained with the idea that form follows function. In addition to function, there is a relationship between form and energy. We're still building very mediocre houses which are built based on the energy and environmental thinking of a quarter century ago. A passive way is always a way which uh, needs uh, the least amount of energy. Primary energy use in America is often divided into three or four pie segments depending on how you calculate it. There's transportation, there's industry, and then there's buildings which can be subdivided into commercial buildings and housing. Um, and all buildings represent between 40 and 50 percent of primary energy use if you include commercial buildings. As we look at the actual performance of passive homes, they are reducing energy, heating energy, by 90 percent. In an even slimmer, thinner market that people are looking for uh, a market advantage and I think that a really intelligent energy design provides just that. There's a lot of technical and econo economic arguments that can be made. Let's just go very far. The passive house energy standard is a giant leap from where we are currently. And the building itself is a kind of dynamic entity. You know, it's gaining energy and losing energy in different ways in different places. Um, what the passive house idea in establishing this energy budget says is, well, if you choose to lose a lot of energy with this one component, realize you got to make it up somewhere else. We live in interesting times, and we are going to make important changes in the way we live, in the way we build houses, whether we want to or not. Um, but the timeline is so short that, you know, we're going to have a shock to the system one way or another. Choose your shock, you know. Is it going to be a political shock, or is it going to simply be a disaster shock? What the 21st century architecture should be is not about style, but today we think that the main issue is uh, energy.